Hey guys, Island Girl here, Ruth Ann herself. We're going to be showing you how to utilize Zoom when doing a presentation. First of all, I would like to say if you have a presentation that you want to use, if it's a PDF, please make sure to download it before you do this tutorial and know where you have it located so that you can locate it when we go to share the screen. So basically, we're going to sign in to a Zoom. Someone has given you a link and said, okay, I want you to be a host and I want you to present. So they have given you a link <clears throat> with a number. So basically what happens here, you're going to join a meeting. So basically what I put up here is zoom.us and this came up, I pressed join a meeting and our link number today is 696-905-1844. So we press join. Now, if you have been asked to do the presentation, you will also be given a host ID number. When you see this come up, guys, all you're going to press is open Zoom meetings for you to continue. Now, if you have not downloaded this already to your computer, it's going to ask you to download something. I've already downloaded Zoom to my computer, so that's why it's automatically happening. So once this happens and you've downloaded it, then you would automatically just press open Zoom meeting. And then it's going to open the software. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. As soon as we open it up here, we're going to connect to join audio. Okay, I'm going to mute that out for right now. And we have this here, guys. So how do you do this? First of all, you're going to select participants, manage participants and to the bottom right. Okay, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> so I'm going to come out of here for a second. Leave meeting. Basically, what it's doing is signing me in as if I am the host already. I do not want that. So, let's see. I'm going to go again. I'm going to do it this way because I just want to show you how to actually claim hosts so that you're not actually going. I'm going to turn off my video. I'm going to do not connect my audio for right now. And I'm going to go. Let's see. You should be able to now look at it. And I should not be the host. Okay, so this is showing me not as the host, as you can see here. And to the bottom far right, you can see claim host. We're going to click claim host. And then you will be provided with a number. In this case, this number is 578641, which allows you to look at that claim host. So now you are the host. So how do you share your screen? Basically, you are going to make sure to download the file that you want. You're going to go to share. And you're going to locate your file. Now, in my case, I know where it's located, so I'm going to go over there and show you this. I'm going to get it from my downloads. And it is right here. There we go. That's what I'm going to open. Now, I will say this some browsers show the download and PDF better than others. I've personally found my favorite is Edge because it allows you to scroll the slides the opposite way, sideways versus scrolling up and down. Like it allows you to squish it sideways. And so I will show you how to move it from one browser to the next. So as you can see here, my PDF file opened in my Avis browser. So I'm just going to highlight this. Copy. I'm going to take it over to my edge. And I'll paste it there. As you can see, it's already there in my edge browser. And what I love about edge is that it allows for you to remove scrolling. Okay, it allows you to turn it on and off. And the difference so that I can show you the difference between what I mean by scrolling is that, for instance, here, Okay, so the difference between continuous scrolling, with continuous scrolling, literally you have to go like this to change your slides, right? But what I like about Edge, it allows you to turn off continuous scrolling and allows you to do this. Okay. It allows you to go like that, which makes it 
very, very simple when moving through the slides. Okay, so let's go back to our Zoom. As you can see down here, this is the link I want to go to. <clears throat> so it's looking for where are, where is my edge? So I'm going to go here again, start up and show all the windows, all of the windows. And so this here shows me this is in Microsoft Edge. So I click that. And there you have it. My presentation is now available to me. Everybody that's in the meeting can actually see my presentation on the screen. And it allows me to go side to side to change the slides. Now remember guys, when you are in host mode, you are responsible to mute persons out. When you see persons up here and they have their microphone is blue and moving, it means that they are making sound noise in your presentation and you need to mute them out. Let me just show you how that will look quickly. Let's go in here. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna unmute myself and I'm gonna make noise. As you can see, the uh, the movement on the mic is green, so sometimes it's either green or blue. And when you see that, that means that person is making noise in your meeting. And so all you're basically going to do is click them out. You're going to mute them out just like that. Um, sometimes if you have to unmute somebody that's supposed to speak, you just go to the person's name and you click unmute. That simple, guys. Like literally that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please get back to me at drruthann at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye, my friends.